Hello everybody, welcome to another video today. Um, today is the Buckman Collectors Club Part 3. Um, now the other week I got a package uh, in the mail, of course, because that's where you get packages from. And the postal address said it was from Sweden, so I was um, quite surprised and wondering where the heck it had come from. Um, and so I, um, I, I had to open it, because normally I would open the Buckman stuff on, on camera, uh, first hand, but today I didn't want to. So, here it is. Now you may be wondering, why is it such a big package? Well, if you've read the title, you will know that this contains the 2015 calendar. So that is very nice as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of other club stuff in there which we'll get to in a minute. So of course I've opened it. I've read all. I've read the Bachman Times and all that. Now there's the magazine. And oh, if I can get it out, there is the calendar. And how lovely does that look? It looks really nice. That lovely um. Ooh, what is it? A V4 on the front. There we go. So, we'll put that aside for a second, and we will look at... Ah, yes. Now, obviously, this doesn't apply to me, because I don't live in the UK, but any of you wanting to go to Alexandra Palace for the London Festival of Railway Modelling, that is the dates for it. Save the date, 28th, 29th of March next year. Um, 40 working British, European and inter international layouts. I wonder if there'll be any New Zealand. I highly doubt it, but hey. So yeah, that's very nice, and you pre-book your tickets. So, uh, there's all the layouts. Wow. That's quite a few. So yeah, that's, as I said, that doesn't apply to me. But, um, yeah, and then we've got this, the club catalogue. Now, this is all club products that you can buy, um, and the new items, now, SDJR7F88, um, I know you're watching because you always watch, but these, look, SDJR open wagons, hmm, they look right up your street, mate, so, um, yeah, have a, have a look at getting them if you remember, I don't know if you are, Cullum, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but if, if you are, definitely look at getting those, because they are, they look really nice, and they're, you know, your, what you model, which is the S&D, so, yeah, so just got double O scale items on those C-Link coaches, which are reviewed in the actual Buckman Times, so we'll have a look at them. Then there's, ah oh yes, that uh, World War One tank wagon pack, that looks nice. And other things, guards van, bus, royal, coach, train, carriage thing. Um, and then an auto baluster and a few three van packs which are like special edition which are very nice, Graham Farish and this is the engage items, oh I forgot to mention those are all double O by the way and you can just order them if you remember obviously and yep, and it's just basically the same stuff in engage rally got some engage uh, coal wagon packs as well um, and here is what I am quite tempted to buy especially those two, because look at the price, five pounds fifty. That equates to about eleven New Zealand dollars, and that is pretty tempting. <laughs> the only thing is that some um, rest of world twenty pounds flat rate for all orders, which is about forty dollars. So I'm paying more for the postage than the than the wagons. But you know, I know we'll see about that. You know, I'd love to, but hey. Uh, Christmas is not far away, so, well, when I'm filming this, you may see after Christmas, I don't even know yet, so, that's the club catalogue, again, you just tick what you want in the booklet, and send that back to Buckman themselves, so, there's the club catalogue, and then, the Buckman Times, now, this, very good issue, um, this month, I, I well, I've had a flick through, um, but, yeah, so, Front cover, what have we got? Presenting the Sealink coaches. Hmm. They're Mark 1s. Nice. And Era 2, 
great central, Eurostar, and the club day, the Barkland Collector Club Day 2014. So what have we got? So yeah, we just got the contents and from the editor, and then SDJR 7F88 Callum. There's those wagons again. Look very nice. They're limited edition, 504 packs. And then we've got sealant coaches and this very nice little tanker naval store department. Ah, yes, forthcoming the 00 scale works report. Now, I do plan to get one of those, the uh, BR Auto trailer. And I do plan to get one of those. Well, a pannier of some sorts. Just the pannier in general I do plan to get. Oh look, another Western Region item. Class 43, that, that would be nice, wouldn't it? And so, they have, um, Buckman have just announced the Web Coal Tank, which is that. So they've just announced that, which is um, forthcoming items and things. So um, that's their forthcoming items for the next couple of years, I guess, I don't know. Um... So, yeah, there's in the drawing office, the tool room, and then artwork stage livery samples in production and on their way. And then there's all the recent releases. Now, I won't go through that because that's about a million pages long. And we've got the new Graham Farris stuff, the lovely new Class 31, which I do quite like um, the look of, which looks very nice. And then are uh, the new... Farish Duchess, which again looks very nice. Um, yeah, and there's some. Uh, oh, they're releasing Engage Hawksworth coaches and a bogey luggage van, which looks Southern Region. So, yeah. So then here's the club day, and this is when Buckman announced the the Web Coal Tank. Here's a better view of it. It's a very nice looking tank. Um, uh, London North Western Railway, um, about 300 of them were built, um, so that is quite interesting, and they've announced three to begin with, so three versions, one in London North Western Railway, which is the As Preserved one, then there's LMS Black and BR Black, then I won't go through too much in detail of this, because we still have the calendar, and this video is getting on for almost eight minutes now, so... We've got the Bachman story part two. This is where Bachman emerges. Replica railways, the end of mainline railways. Very, very interesting read. Um, and, uh, yeah. What's that? A replica model of a class 45 peak. Nice. Bachman Europe celebrates 25 years in style. Well, that, well, yeah. That's pretty nice, eh? Somerset and Dorset, Joint Railway 23, Aginti, I know Callum, we're going to have a big mention in this video mate, but yeah, um, Callum has a, a Parisian blue version of this, which he reviewed, um, so yeah, and then one of their narrow gauge items now, Buckman, as I, I think I pointed out in the last, in part two of this series that Buckman were releasing a a uh, 009 range, and if you don't know, well, they are, um, yeah, so, carrying on, The Wagon Works, Part 24, this is basically Bachman Private Owner Wagons, um, like, every single one of them, so, yeah, and then we've got, uh, storage problems for your stock, if you, um, if you have limited space and stuff, now the Great Central, Oh, look at that. Lovely, lovely. Uh, it's basically uh, the rise and fall of England's last complete mainline railway network. Um, now, is the Great Central as we know it today. The preserved line. Um, and the D11. Butler Henderson. What have we got? Now, I'm not even going to try pronounce that name, because it's, yeah, it's, I, I'll get it wrong. <laughs> I will get it wrong, I swear. But it's basically a project layout that they're discussing in each issue. Um, 
and there's club members talk, basically, you know, club letters and things. Try to speed this up a bit, some woodland scenic stuff. Uh, keep warm this winter. Hmm. And then the whole lecture about Eurostar. Now, if you like me, and you sort of prefer, you know, older steam, early diesel, you won't even look at this. But I have read it, and it, it's very nice. It's a very good read. Um, Mr. Page, yep. There's the new Eurostars right there. Hopefully, when are they getting delivered? I think they're getting delivered sometime next year. Yeah, okay. I don't... Yeah, personalising OTA timber wagons. If you you will all know that I do have an OTA timber wagon. Um, it's a Hornby one though, so you know I don't use it that much, but I do have one. How long did it take to personalise one wagon? See, it's basically weathering it, adding a load. Looks quite nice. Lily put. Ah yes, West Country and Battle of Britain classes again. A very good read. If you are that way inclined. Coupling corner. <laughs> Nem couplings, basically, and then a photo competition. Um, and British Railways wagons. Oh, there's some nice pictures in there. Railways in miniature, where they build a miniature railway. And the Keith Leamworth Valley Railway. Now, I know that Simon Shedd is... Um, the YouTube channel, Simon Shed is building a N-scale version of the Keith Leamworth Valley. So that will be very interesting to watch the progress of. Um, then we got Derby Lightweights. Oh, God, I hate that livery. Ugh. But, um, no, nah, that's more like it. BR Green Speed Whiskers. Um, yeah, so... Um... What else do we have? Bartman Models performing well at the... Uh, Rumney High and Dimchurch Railway. Uh, oh goodness, gee, this video is going to be quite long, isn't it? Um, some hobby shops, Buckman dealer news, and then limited edition stuff. So TMC's six pack get weathered. Buses, wagons, buses, wagons. Ah yes, the Great Northern Railway Atlantic. Look how lovely that is. Um, and then, yeah, just the young collector, the Buckman era system. Um, and then the American stuff. Huh. Oh, just to finish off, the newly tooled Class 150 DMU into City 82 will be happy about that. Um, so, right, 12 minutes later, we're going to look at the calendar now. So, ugh. look at this. This looks lovely. So it's called Age of the Train 2015 calendar and a lovely LNER on a rake of teaks K4 uh, V4 my apologies on the front. So yeah, this is basically the format of the calendar. I'll just go through the pictures with you. So you've got uh, Coronation on uh, storming up Betock Bank on the West Coast Main Line to Scotland. Um, moving on to February. We got a oh a lovely 9F um, lift that's freight up the famous Shap incline, um, accompanied by a banker right at the back, um, and yeah it says in the little description here which I'm reading off, the uh, fireman would be working very hard to maintain boiler pressure for the five and a half mile climb. That would have been a bit tricky, and oh look a class 40 or as it says here a Type 4 English electric diesel as it prepares for its departure and as on the front a, uh, a V4 um, lays a veil of smoke over the countryside that's a very nice painting as I said it's a whole load of um, railway paintings that uh, yeah uh, the bullied uh, steam engine that could be driven from either end but looks scarily like a diesel um, oh what's that a Royal Scott 46112 Sherwood Forester coast downhill towards Glasgow. Now that would have been, yeah, that's, ve that's a very nice painting. Whoever have done these have done a great job. Then you've got an M7 um, about to set off from the station. That's very nice as well. And, oh, look at that, a bullied... 
a merchant navy class racing through and the train spotters see i would have been one of them i would have been one of them <laughs> and what are we on now september gee whiz right so there we got a black five on some blood and custards and that is very nice and here's one for jacob borich an a3 mary hampton 60066 um, has its tender replenished so, uh, and then oh look a Derby lightweight which we saw a couple of minutes ago at Braintree station December the last one what is that a B17 61668 Bradford City prepares to leave Long Melford for Cambridge that is very nice and that's the end so that is a very nice calendar. I shall be uh, possibly featuring it in updates uh, next year. So um, yeah, so we got the calendar, this, this, and that, and that is um, well. That's Barkman Collectors Club Part Three in the series. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Like me on Facebook as Cruisley Road Model Railway. And stay tuned for the, um, the next part, which is part four, which will be very interesting. So um, I, I think part four will just be a standard Barkman Times. But, you know, we're going to look at it anyway. So, yeah, as I said, like, comment, subscribe. As always, guys, see you later.